Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, General Yoweri Kagutam Seven, want to warmly welcome you again uh, to police headquarters and uh, to carry out the function of launching the National Command Center. But before we start, Your Excellency, I would like, with your permission, to introduce to you the other invited guests who are here present. Want to acknowledge to you the presence of the Honorable Minister for Security, General Eli Tumwine, who is here with us. Your Excellency, we have the Honorable Minister of State for Internal Affairs, Honorable Biga Kania, who is here with us. We have members of the Police Authority. Uh, who include the Inspector General of Police Emeritus, Mr. John Kosi Odomel. We have Mr. Stephen Kabuye, who is also a member of the Police Authority. We have Haji Abu Bogere, a member of the Police Authority. Your Excellency, we have the Chief of Defense Forces, General David Mohosi, is here with us. We have the Inspector General of Police, Mr. John Martin Zokoto Chola Esquire, who is also here. We have the Commissioner General of Prisons, Dr. Johnson Vialashija, who is here with us. We have the Director General, ESO Ambassador Joseph Ochuet, who is here with us. We are also privileged to have the Honorable Chairperson of the Defense and Internal Affairs Committee, Honorable Member of Parliament, and Woman Member of Parliament, Amolata District, Honorable Doreen Amole, you're most welcome. We have the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Major General Sabit Mzei. The Chief of Joint Staff, Brigadier AIGP Jackson Vakasumba. All directors, the 19 in total, are present. We have the Commissioner, Government Analytical Laboratory, who is a stakeholder in this project. Your Excellency, we also have the contractors who worked with us to see to it that uh, this facility is erected in record time of eight months from Huawei Technologies. We have the Vice President of Huawei in charge government and public business, Mr. Suju Jin. The MD Huawei Uganda, Lin, Lin Jian Wei, is here with us. We have the Vice MD of Huawei Uganda, Mr. Lee Zi, and the Key Account Manager, Yang Ji, is here with us. And we also have Mr. Yang Tao in charge of the Safe City uh, project. So we also have um, heads of specialized units, departments, and the entire 
fraternity of the police, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, you're most welcome. Indeed, today is a very special day. Your Excellency filled with moments of immense pride as we witness the inauguration of the National Command Center to achieve, which is a fulfillment of your vision, to achieve the best result in securing the safety and security of all Ugandans by employing new technologies like what we are having here today. Your Excellency, without wasting time, we are going through the remaining program where we are going to have a welcome and brief remark from the Inspector General of Police. Your Excellency, it is a privilege and great pleasure to deliver our utmost gratitude to you for taking time off your busy schedule to once again visit the police headquarters to commission the National Command and Control Center. Sir, this is a journey that you personally started on 9th October 2018, when you launched the first display of the CCTV project in Atete. I'm therefore delighted that today we have gathered here to gladly receive you to commission phase one of the national CCTV project. Your Excellency, I'm happy to inform you, sir, that with the new system, we have been able to improve on the efficiency of the 99 emergency response in terms of time. We are now able to identify the location of the distress call. With the cameras and other forensic tools such as DNA profiling and AFIS, the institution has registered tremendous achievements in the tracking of wanted persons and vehicles, deterrence of crime, improvement in the efficiency in crime intelligence and investigations, among others. Your Excellency and distinguished guests, with the expansion of the police network, and through sensitization, the public has coped up with the system of installing cameras in their business premises, social amenities, and private homes. In a tandem with your directive of police public cooperation in policing, we intend to link the social cameras to police network, which will improve on crime prevention and investigation process. So we, are, we also plan to integrate the system with other stakeholders, such as NIRA, Immigration, URA, NITA, the criminal justice system, among others, for purposes of sharing information. To fellow officers, with this helping hand of H.E. the President, it is imperative that we change the face of policy and do all in our power to ensure the security of our people. I would also wish to remind the staff who will be manning these facilities that you have been posted there for a purpose and you must live up to the public expectation. I would like to conclude by thanking Your Excellency for the continued support and guidance offered to the institution. I also thank the entire government of Uganda, the stakeholders, as well as the contractors, that is Huawei, whose tireless efforts resulted in the successful completion of the first phase of the project. May I request the Huawei team to stand up again for recognition. I thank you all for your kind support and for attending this ceremony in your respective capacities. With these remarks, I once again thank Your Excellency for coming and I request the Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs to make his remarks and officially invite you to address the gathering. I thank you, sir. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, the Honourable Minister for Security, the Member of Parliament and Chair of the Defence and Internal Affairs Committee, Inspector General of Police, the Security Chiefs, mainly the CDF and the Commissioner General of Prisons, and the Director General of ESO, members of the Police Authority, the Vice President and his team of the Huawei Group, 
police and security officers, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Minister of Internal Affairs, as well as on my own behalf, Your Excellency, it is a privilege and great honor to welcome you to the commissioning ceremony of this National Command and Control Center. Your Excellency, prevention and detection of crime in the modern policing is now going digital. It's no longer in the, like in the past where investigations were conducted in a rudimentary manner. This is a result of the fact that criminals have also become advanced in technology and scientifically in their wrongdoing. Your Excellency, with your wise leadership, you detected, you foresaw, and you guided for the initiation of this project you are going to commission. Indeed, today we are witnessing the implementation of that guidance. Although it may somehow be expensive, it's the only way to go in as far as the implementation of our manifesto to secure the people of Uganda under the NRM and your leadership is concerned. And we thank you for that support. It's my belief, therefore, and hope that the Inspector General of Police will effectively and with the team under him put in use this facility as planned And we in the ministry will appeal to the entire police force to utilize the facility which has come to their aid in detecting and preventing crime effectively. With these few words, once again, Your Excellency, I now wish to welcome you to make your remarks and commission the facility. I thank you, Your, well, yeah, thank you, your Excellency. You're welcome. Commissioner Variamu Isaki has just passed uh, my ad hoc examination. <laughs> Because Variamu Isaki doesn't, doesn't know how much I know Uganda. So when he was uh, briefing me, he told me big stories about this, about that. I said by, that uh, he had now covered a certain area, which he told me in his very expensive language. <laughs> But for me, I am a man of uh, the villages. So I said, show me Govero and Namayumba. But the Amusich had never heard of this. But after consulting, they, uh, they discovered that Namayumba is 33 miles from Kampala on Hema Road, 33 or 32. Because Busunji is 34. So Namayumba may be 32 or 1. And Govero is 29. So I said, you show me now when you are assisting me, because you say you are now, you have covered this area. After fumbling for a few minutes, <laughs> I was able to see clearly uh, Namayumba uh, and Govero. I was able to see the Maram Road branching going to Masurita through Mayanja, Mayanja River and, uh, and, uh, and Katkamu, Katkamu School. So I said, okay, Mariamu Itsaki, Aveo. Now, this is exactly what I saw, because when we started getting these killings, you, know, you remember those, uh, 
those sheikhs who are being killed during the day or evening. I think there are like uh, 20 of them, the sheikhs, the sheikhs who are being killed. And then Kajezi, and then uh, Kawesi, then uh, Chirumira, uh, the MP Abiriga. You are now just depending on human, human, inf human information. Any Amravie, any Amravie, any Amravie. Uh, then this one say this, this one say that. I said no. We must go a bit more modern. We can't go on with the the old methods. And you remember uh, that's when I said you must implement these projects. You have now implemented the first phase of this particular one. But the others, which the here is supposed to work on, uh, which will deal with the digital identification of each car, wherever it is, or, or each border border. Uh, so we are going to defeat crime. This, I don't know why that these people had uh, sold to use, to use crime to discredit the NRM. Yet, yet security is my, my area, my constituency. So you, that's a wrong, a wrong uh, battleground for anybody. If you want to challenge the Ugandan security side, then you should look for another constituency. So we are going to defeat these criminals. This is just the beginning. And you can see the ritual that has been done has already helped. The other fellow who killed Nagirinyan and was driving in, in Nagirinyan's car was seen, and uh, people, uh, we, 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 we got them. The border border who strangled, uh, no, the passenger who strangled the border border on the way somewhere was seen and it's just the beginning. We are going to tighten, tighten the... So now what's going to remain is two words. This is now technology. But technology does not solve two words. Does not solve dedication and patriotism. You can have technology, you can have, but if you don't have dedication and patriotism, you will not achieve. Yes, it's better than nothing, but it is much better. If you have technology, but you also have dedication and patriotism, especially patriotism. Patriotism means, means loving your country. And loving your country means loving the country and the people. This is where we in the NRA were able to do a lot. We in the NRA, the army, the army of the, the Bush army. We didn't we looked at all Ugandans as our family. Because that word patriotism means fatherland, loving the fatherland. If Uganda is the fatherland, it means all the Ugandans are our family members. If you have got this in your head, you cannot neglect your duty. Because you know that any attack on any Ugandan is like attacking your child, 
attacking your, your, your sister, attacking your brother. Some of the people don't have that feeling. They feel that family are only the, the ones from the same woman. While me, all Ugandans, all Africans are my family. That's why I will cause you a, 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 pro, a lot of problems if, if you are near me and you kill, mistreat, rape, rape, rape an African woman who is my Muzukuru or food day. I cannot spare you. I will kill you. Because the African woman is my daughter, is my granddaughter. The African man, that's, this is my, how I feel. That's why I went to Mozambique in 1968. What was I looking for? I was in Mozambique in 1968 with the freedom fighters there. There were no one there. I was not going to, 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 to greet a Gandhi in, in Mozambique. It was because Mozambicans are Africans. The Africans were being oppressed. So if you don't have this feeling, just go quietly, say, but now you to look at it. And please, if so, because you know, when we started fighting, we attacked Kabamba on the 6th of February. The attack did not succeed well. But some of the soldiers joined us. And then later on, on the 9th of February, when we were in Chiboga, again we were attacked by the Tanzanians. And we had some, we lost some equipment. So some people started being uh, unsure of, of the way forward. Started, uh, so when we lost them, we said, okay, you line up. Who is not sure of what we are doing? There were six, six boys. So, okay. Bring our guns. Here is, here is some money. Go, go back to your home. They, they went. And later, some of them came back when they heard that we were doing well. <laughs> so now, anybody who does not feel like I feel, who does not love Ugandans, all of them, because this is my problem. I love all Ugandans, short and tall, beautiful and ugly. <laughs> they are all my people, and I will die for them. If you don't feel like that, please go to the inspector general of police and tell him that I don't feel like that man. And I request that you, 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 you say goodbye to him. You give him salary of three months or what? <laughs> if somebody wants to resign, how much do you give him? One month. One month? <laughs> <laughs> and then we remain with the ones who look at Uganda as a family and who look at Africa as a family, who will not tolerate, just like you don't tolerate your biological children being harmed. You don't harm, you don't tolerate the harming of the family of Ugandans. If you, if you, if you don't, so therefore, the police must be cleaned up of all those, all those people who don't feel that they are here for Uganda and for the Ugandans. The 
in terms of techniques, is the technology now. Uh, but even without technology, there were techniques which could have, which could have worked, and which have worked. When I met your leaders, one of the gaps was the link between the public and the police station. Those people who killed the people in Chisojo, Chisojo massacre on New Year's Day, New Year's Day of the other year, the, 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 even, even a, a former policeman was killed there, called Walugembe. He was murdered in that attack. The, the main problem was the woman whose house was being attacked by the thugs did not know whom to ring. There was a disco of New Year nearby. There was a lot of noise. The thieves were trying to break in the house, but the house had uh, burglar proof. They didn't succeed. And the woman was inside with her children ringing. Now uh, she had to ring her husband, who was in Mubende. Then the husband had to ring the regional police commander, Masaka. Then the police commander, Masaka, had to ring, I think this one is the Pokemon Simba or something like that. That's how these people were not caught quickly. But fortunately, one boy had uh, the alarm. These people were not even armed, they were just with machetes. They didn't even have. Uh, I don't think they had guns. Did they have guns? That, that, that group. Huh? They had no guns. Yeah, they, did. they didn't have guns. So when one boy came and threw a brick at, at, at them. So when he threw a brick at them, they scattered. And one of them lost the way. The others, they, the others went killing people. That's how they killed five people. They went cutting people in the way who were coming from disco. But this one lost his way. So when he lost his way, the following morning, people found him wandering in the village. They, you know the villagers, they finished him there. They killed him. And then some information was found on him. So that's how we eventually got the whole group. But you can see the problem here was lack of linkage between the population and the police station, the nearby. So when I met your leaders here the other day, this is what we resolved. Everywhere, the whole public, area by area, must be told where to ring if there is any problem. And the telephone should not be personal telephones in people's pockets. Should be the counter of the police station, should have a phone which is accessible 24 hours a day. So that's very crucial. Public to the police station, not to the DPC, not to the, to, to the police office on duty. Then the police office on duty, the, the next most important thing is the quick response. Quick response. At the police station, there should be a group standby, ready, armed. Six of them, or whatever number you have, ready to move. Not to start calling, you ringing, come, come, come. No, they move. They are ready there, and they move straight to the to the scene of the of, of the incident. You will see it has already worked in in a few of these cases. Uh, so that um, now. But Yamu I think, had some ideas about uh, sabotage. I don't know why he wanted to sabotage our project. Because uh, he didn't want to put cameras at the police station. Because he thought the police station did not need watching. No, I need to watch the police station. How they are responding. I want the cameras also to be on the counter. See how they counted.
because I'm not monitoring only the criminals, I'm monitoring my own group. How are they? How are they doing their work? But, but this one we have peacefully resolved with, 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 the, with the very Amunsaki. It was not violent, it was a little quarrel. It's now resolved. Now, finally, I want to thank our friends of China, the Huawei, the, the China is always a very good friend of Africa, of Uganda, and we are going to do a lot of things together. This is just the beginning. It is now my pleasure to declare the first phase of this project commissioned. Thank you very much. must also join this first photograph. The others, heads of specialized units, departments, I think we shall get another t opportunity outside this one. Thank you. You may take your seats and uh, as we finish this program.